Hi. Welcome to the first episode of EMT Made Easy, episode one. So a few of my EMT students thought that it would be a good idea for me to make a YouTube video or a YouTube channel to help them out so they could reference back, look back at my, my courses and stuff like that. And they thought it would be helpful for other people too, taking EMT courses with instructors that they don't get, I guess I could say. So here we go. My job is to simplify everything to the fullest as much as I possibly can. And if you have any input, I would really appreciate it. Things to make my course go much smoother and to help you guys learn better. All right, so today we're going to be talking about one of those most boring topics and possibly not just EMS, but all the medical field entirely, terminology. So as far as medical terminology goes, medical terminology is like its own language, right? It's kind of taking, I think it's taken from Latin, not 100% right now. It doesn't matter though. Okay, so I'm going to be going over some prefixes, roots, and suffixes. Don't get crazy and don't get scared. I'm not going to go crazy about that and exactly tell you what a prefix is or a root and get into English that much. I'm just going to tell you what it means, like what a prefix is, and then move away from that and actually go into what you have to know, the prefixes for the medical field, and then try to make it easy for you to remember. All right, so prefix. What is a prefix? A prefix is what's going to kind of guide you in the direction of where the word is going. It's a description of what are we going to be talking about. All right? A root is the actual meaning, is what this word actually means, the meaning. Uh, then a suffix is kind of helps you tie a nice bow around the word and complete the meaning in its entirety. So prefix, easy, it says pre on it, right? So it's the first part, the pre, before the main, before the meat and potatoes, pretty much, I guess you can say. So pre is that first part of the word, so it's pre, pre-root. And then the root comes, and then this just kind of ties the bow, the suffix, and it just completes the meaning for you. So let's go over some prefixes, then I'm gonna go over some root words, and then some suffixes, and then if we have time, I'm going to put it all together. If not, then guess what? There's going to be part two of this video. No big deal. All right. Because I only have 15 minutes. Thank you, YouTube. All right. So a prefix. Let's go over some prefixes. I actually have a list. All right. So prefix. Let's go over Brady. So Brady, what this means, it just means slow. It's slowing down. That's all this means. Slow. I have a list. So I'm going to go down the road. All right, now, Brady, usually you're only going to see it with the heart. So if you see Brady, I'm going to assume, like, right off the bat, like, it's a slow heart rate. But don't get crazy. It's not going to mean that unless you see card afterwards. I broke my rule. I'm going to, in, into root words now. Root words. All right, so this is this. This is this. So, bradycardia, cardia, yeah, would be like the suffix. It just makes it sound better, smoother, whatever. It doesn't matter. But, brady means slow. You're usually only going to see it when it comes to the heart. That's the only time I've ever seen it. I don't know. Let's keep going. All right. Tacky. Tacky means fast. Now, fast you'll see it with the heart too, it's like tachycardia, but you're also going to see it with breathing. Apnea. So tachyapnea, tachyapnea, I'm probably saying that wrong, you're going to figure it out on the road. So apnea just means breathing. Put an equal sign, breathing. Alright, so tachy, fast, nia, breathing. What do you think it means? So it's going to mean fast breathing. So they're breathing fast. That's all that means. Brady, cardia, slow. They put an I right here. So cardi and slow. Tachy, tachy, cardia means fast. It's a fast heart rate. As far as what of, what's considered a fast heart rate, that's a whole different lecture in and of itself. 
I just want you to know what these words mean today, all right? So pretty, slow, tacky, fast. What else have we got here? All right. So since we're in fast and slow, let's keep going kind of in the same direction. So then you have what's called hyper. Hyper means either elevated, so it's above something. It's, it's like it's higher than normal. Elevated or too much, I guess you can say, if you want to make it even simpler. So elevated, elevated or too much. And then you have hypo, which is the exact same opposite, the exact opposite of hypo, of hyper. Hypo, so it means below, below or under or too little of. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. So hypertension, tension, what do you think of tension? If I put tension on something, pressure, right? So hypertension, hypertension is really pressure in the vessels. That means you have a high blood pressure, so tension. So hypertension, a lot of tension. Hypertension, high blood pressure, that's what it means. Hypertension really means high blood pressure. There's a lot of tension in the vessels, which increases your blood pressure. So hypertension, hypotension, means that it's below. So you have a low blood pressure. So that's all that means, above or below. These prefixes, that's what they mean. Then you also have, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase these. Hopefully you guys can uh, just go back and reference them if you want to on the video. Halfway there, all right. Keep on going with these prefixes. All right, so now you also have peri. Every time you see peri, you think it's around something. Let's go back to cardi. So peri, your root word card, cardi, peri, cardi. If I see peri, cardi together, combined as I say, pericardial sac, cardio, and then sack over here by itself, I'm gonna know that it's, peri means around something. So peri equals around, all right? Cardi, we know it's hard now, right? All right, so every time I see peri, I'm gonna know it's the prefix, what am I talking about? So I know that this word means that it's around something, right? So around the heart, sack. So what does this mean? Pericardial sack, that means it's a, it's a sack, that's around the heart. So it wraps around the heart. It encapsulates the heart, right? So that's what this means. So peri, think around something. It's surrounding something. Then cardiac next says what? Something surrounding the heart. And then it's a sac. It's a sac that surrounds the heart. That's pretty much as easy as it gets. Might not be easy, but now go over this video a few times. Eventually you will get it. And then sometime, sometime throughout your EMC course, it'll all just click. And eventually it'll all become second nature. Trust me. You might have to watch this video more than once. I know I talk a little bit fast. All right, so let's go with poly. Poly means many or a lot. Like polymorphic. Morphic means that it just morphs in different shapes. Poly, you'll see it. Uh, poly, every time I think poly, I think of medicine, a lot of medicine. So the, the geriatric population, geriatric means old, by the way. Not old, I guess uh, the elderly. So 65 and above means geriatric. That's what I was talking about. The geriatric population, they have these little things, these little containers with little boxes, and they keep their medications in here. So they have like the little pills in here. It's like a poly medicine thing. I forget the, I forget the exact word, but I think I, I, every time I think poly, I think of, of that. There's a lot of medicines in one little container. And like, they have their own little caps for each one. Some of you guys may know what I'm talking about. So that's what poly means, all right? Now post and pre. Post and pre. Pre means, just like prefix, it's before something. Post means it's after pre. So something after it happened, like post cardiac care. Cardiac care after the initial care. That's what it means, so care after care. So post cardiac care. The patient had was 
cared for because of a cardiac condition, so now they're going to be cared for again. It's easy. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Uh, as far as this goes, I think I'm saying it's as easy as that so much, huh? To catch myself saying that. All right, so prefix. Um, let's see what else I have here. Tacky, supra, inferior, superior. I'm going to go over two more. So as far as superior and inferior. Super means above. Think Superman flying the sky. Inferior, think inferno, I guess. Inferno, hell is burning down below. I just made that up, but I think it sounds pretty awesome. I don't really think. Let me know. Comments down below. First video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of bad reviews. <laughs> so those are some prefixes that we're talking about as far as the medical field goes. So it looks like there's going to be a part two, guys. Prefixes, this will pretty much be the bulk of your prefixes. And then I think video two, we're going to go into the root words and then maybe the suffixes. And then we're going to tie it all together and go over actual words and what they mean to kind of help you guys out a little more. So tune in the next episode. All right. So let's go into some root words. Bronco, every time you see Bronco, so this one's gone. This is what we're talking about now, root words. We're talking about root words. So every time you see bronco or pomo, think lungs, by the way. It's supposed to be lungs. Think lungs, all right? Bronco or pomo means lungs. So every time you see pomo, think lungs. All right, card, cardi means heart. So every time we see cardi, it has to do with the heart. We already talked about some things with the cardiac. So like pericardial sac, a sac around the heart. What else we got here? As far as gastro, gastro means stomach. So every time you see gastro, just I just think gas, like farts, gas are made in the stomach. So therefore, it's your stomach. We're talking about your stomach here. Neuro. Think. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to draw a brain. And then the squiggly lines mean there's the brain. So neuro, it just means the brain. Think your brain. You'll be good to go. Okay. At least when you first start off. Neuro brain. And then there are. Two more that I'm gonna be talking about right now. Do I have time? I sure do. Every time you see pneumo, think of air, but not just air. It's gonna be air inside your lungs. So air in your lungs, pneumo. The last two that I'm going to talk about, it's going to be N-A and OR. Every time you see N-A, like nasal, nair, think nose. Every time you see OR, it's going to be a mouth. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm breaking off right now because my time is about to be up, and I don't want to mess around with the whole having to cut a video tape because I suck at that. But we just went over all of your root words and prefixes. The next one, we're going to talk about suffixes, and then we're going to try to bring it all together in, all right? Thanks. Bye.